Good evening. It's dinner time. Dinner time. JC boy. Yeah. Are you ready for some Max H? I hope you're ready, Monster baby. Bite. Monster bite. Out to out. Shout out to ya. Uh, how about some Carlos M? Uh, Big yeah. bite choke uh, scare of the night. Yes. Like Earth Days. Boom time. All that stuff. I like that. Boom. Good evening. It's dinner time. This is videos from my favorite YouTuber, Jace. Uh, today I'd like to give a shout out to Sue G. Uh, we got a little texting back and forth this afternoon. Um, good to hear from you, babe. Uh, no boom times, but there are enough birthdays where I should be eating some cake. My cousin Jose C, little nephew Liam W, and Kentucky's own Jacob G, Jacobson. Happy birthday to all y'all. Anyone else uh, having a birthday today? I uh, hope you're having a great one as well. Boom. <sighs> a long day at work. I wanted something quick and easy. Hopefully tasty. We'll see. We've got uh, some Texas brisket style street tacos. Um, microwave to perfection. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> All I did was put a little sour cream on top. Um, looked pretty good. We're pretty bite sized, but uh, I might be able to get two bites out of each. We'll see. <laughs> Leftover tea from work um, in my new Yeti from uh, Carlos M. Thank you for that. Let's get it started. Not bad. It's kind of like uh, pulled pork on a tortilla, double wrap tortilla. Um, <clears throat> I wasn't sure if I should put some cheese on there, but I think it wouldn't hurt. Uh, I remember that for next time, anyway. <laughs> the tortilla itself, there's parts where it's nice and soft, and there's parts where it's kind of like chewing leather. <laughs> but all in all, for as quick as it was to make, uh, I definitely recommend them. I definitely buy them again. bad there's actually like some good sized chunks of a brisket in there I like that <laughs> Oh, 
Long and draining day at work today. <clears throat> A little over 12 hours. Uh, you know, it's about uh, 13 hours from from leaving the apartment to getting back into it. And uh, I'm definitely ready to be here. <sighs> Get to rest in here after dinner anyway. We'll see. But uh, funny thing at work happened. Uh, Mark S. asked me who Rainbow Cake was. <laughs> so that's my nephew, Drew W. Uh, I don't know. It was funnier when I can explain <laughs> why I call him that. But, uh, because <laughs> it's just his, it's just who he is. That's rainbow cake. <laughs> I didn't choose the name. The name chose him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bad boys went down as uh, quick as they got cooked. Two and a half minutes per batch. <laughs> so, I was thinking about uh, maybe taking those to work for lunch, but uh, uh, when I was looking around to see what I was going to have for dinner tonight, I was like, bam, that's it right there. Popping those in, popping those down. <laughs> Time to move on to the Olivia A. International Snack Taste Test of the Day. Uh, see some bananas. And it looks like chocolate on the inside of the banana. Excuse me. One way to find out. I'm not the biggest fan of artificial banana flavor. Flavoring. Excuse me. But I'm going to give it a shot. Banana, marshmallows, and chocolate. That's not a bad combo. <laughs> Sounds like an Elvis sandwich with some peanut butter. <laughs> and some sweet stuff. Yeah, I don't like banana too much, but that, you know, that was definitely different from the rest of the the snacks that I've gotten so far out of this bag. It wasn't airy. <laughs> Pretty tasty though. Once again, happy birthday to Jose C, Liam W, and JG. And everyone else who had a birthday today. <laughs> That was some good dinner. But dinner time is over. Peace. R.I.P. Eddie Van Halen. Don't leave me, Taco. I love you. <laughs>